Alright, we're here at the uh, at the uh, Chris Cowell Sniper Challenge. What you're looking at is the thousand yard shoot off board. The white paper eight foot witness board with a shoot and see in the center. And as we're zooming back, I'll tell you that we want to come up here and see if we can precision shoot the holdover scope. Now those scopes were designed for shooting fast, shooting you know, larger targets, you're, you're hunting something big enough to eat. It wasn't designed to be shot on a precision rifle. But this was a long range precision event and speed, so I want to see if we could do it. So what, what we did is we took a, an off the shelf DPMS AR-10 with our, with our do-it-yourself modifications that you can do too, and then we shot a primary arms ACSS HUD, the heads up display vertical scope that was set up for the 308. Now I'm going to tell you right off the bat, we didn't win, but we're shooting against the best shooters in the whole country with the best rifles in the whole country. And we made the finals, we made the, the shoot off for the last man standing, the six shooters that went to the final. And what we did was we, we signed it in the scopes last week. We took, you can take whatever your shooting program is. We had an actual Kest, Kestrel 5700 that we used for other long range shooting on a mile and out further. And we got the weather for when the rifle was sighted in. So what my theory is that I want to test out here and it worked was you had the weather, you had your print predictor, you had the adjusted altitude, and you had to come up 9.73 to make it to 1,000. So when we got here, instead of the people with mill dot scopes where you adjust each shot, for each shot they would adjust the scope. What I did was we took the weather, ran the weather, and it would tell you in your range card whether you're going to come up 9.62 or 9.83 or whatever, so it's your scope is in 10th mil. So it's basic math, you can go up or down one or two clicks and you're on the money. Because the holdover scope was not designed to shoot less than one MOA all the way to a thousand. And you had to shoot less than one MOA in this wind to hit the targets. We had a four inch blade at 400 and we, one of them was a 10 inch blade at a thousand yards. So you had to shoot less than one MOA in the wind to clear the plates all the way to a thousand. And the fastest ones made it to the finals. So we came with a semi-automatic gas gun and a holdover scope. And what you could do is you could adjust for the weather conditions, which would adjust the whole trajectory of the scope. You made one adjustment before you walked up and went up on the tower to start shooting, and it adjusted the scope all the way out. Now for you people that are hunting, well, you've never wanted to buy a holdover scope because you wondered what would happen if you sighted in on the Texas Gulf Coast or whatever down close to sea level and then you went up into the mountains of Colorado or Wyoming and you're hunting at eight or 10,000 feet. You can run the weather and adjust that scope, the clicks, and that adjusts the whole trajectory of the scope and you're on. So, you know, we didn't win here. The guy that won, the finalist had to shoot at that storyboard that we that you saw when the video started, eight by eight square covered in white paper with a little shoot and see in the middle. And we had a, a target cam up, up here, you can watch on the video screen, and it was the closest to the center winds. Now the guy that won it, he shot an inch and three sixteenths from perfect center, cold bore shot, 30 seconds, get on the map, and shoot an inch and three sixteenths from perfect center at a thousand yards on that white board. It's just some amazing shooting. It was an amazing event. Uh, the people really rolled out the red carpet for us. Y'all need to shoot it next, next year. But I want to tell all you people out there, especially you hunters, you can get a holdover scope, but you can shoot fast you can still precision shoot it. So thanks a bunch for watching.